The Honor Magic 4 Pro has the highest wireless charging wattage ever seen in a mass-produced smartphone. But how does it stack up against the Xiaomi 12 Pro, Oppo Find X5 Pro, OnePlus 10 Pro, and Samsung Galaxy S22 Plus in this 0 to 100% wireless charging speed test? The Honor Magic 4 Pro has a 4,600 mAh battery and requires Honor's massive 135 watt charging brick to be paired up with their 100 watt wireless supercharger in order to take advantage of its crazy 100 watt wireless charging charging capabilities. The Xiaomi 12 Pro matches the Honor's battery size at 4600 milliamps but has half the wireless charging wattage at just 50 watts and requires Xiaomi's 67 watt charging block to be paired up with their 50 watt wireless hypercharger in order to hit 50 watt wireless charging speeds. The Oppo Find X5 Pro has the largest battery capacity here at 5000 milliamps but has the same wireless charging wattage as the Xiaomi at 50 watts which needs to be paired up with Oppo's 64 5 or 80 watt brick. We'll be using the 80 watt charger today with their 50 watt AirVook wireless charger to reach up to 50 watt wireless speeds. The OnePlus 10 Pro is essentially the same phone as the Oppo, so it too has a 5000 milliamp hour battery and we'll be using the same 80 watt SuperVook charger alongside the same 50 watt AirVook wireless charger to also reach up to the same 50 watt wireless charging speeds. Gone are the days of warp charging. Last and certainly least is the Galaxy S22 Plus which has the smallest battery capacity here at 4500 milliamps and the lowest wireless charging wattage at a mere 15 watts and requires Samsung's 25 watt fast charger to be paired up with their 15 watt fast Qi wireless charger in order to reach its subpar 15 watt wireless charging capabilities. I'm extremely excited to get things underway. This is Technic and without further ado, let's go. Kickstarting things off by placing each individual phone on their respective wireless charging stand. All of them are sitting at 0% and have been sitting that way for the past few hours to drop down to room temperature, which is around 24, 25 degrees in Celsius. I'll only be turning the screen on once at the start in order to make sure that all of them have optimized charging off and have enabled all of the fast wireless charging options within each and every single device, as well as the boost charging option on the Xiaomi device over here reaching that five minute mark interval as you can see time interval at the top right hand corner the percentages underneath the branding of each phone is in relation to that time interval and the percentages are as follows the magic 4 pro 21 percent which is ridiculous in just five minutes 16 percent on the xiaomi 4 percent on the oppo 16 percent on the oneplus and five percent on the s22 plus which is actually beating the oppo but you got to bear in mind that the Oppo has a new battery health engine, so I'm not sure if that's one of the reasons it took a while to get off of 1%. Not too sure about that, but hitting the 10 minute mark interval, we have 36% on the Honor, 31% on the Xiaomi, actually not that far behind, 18% on the Oppo, now catching up quite a bit and 10% ahead of the Samsung at 8%, 29% on the OnePlus 10 Pro, which is just behind the Xiaomi 12 Pro. Samsung is the coolest here and the Honor Magic 4 Pro is the hottest. Reaching the 15 minute mark interval, we have 51% on the Honor Magic 4 Pro. It actually did 50% in just 15 minutes with 153.3 milliamp hours per minute reading. That is ridiculous. And we have 45% on the Xiaomi 29, on the Oppo 41, on the OnePlus and 11% on the Samsung, 11% on the Samsung, 15 watts. What are you doing, Samsung? Nevertheless, reaching that 30 minute mark interval, we have 92% on the Honor, almost done, can you believe it? 81% on the Xiaomi, not too far behind. 59% on the Oppo, which is a tad behind its brother, the OnePlus 10 Pro, and 21% on the Samsung. The Honor just finished, as I was saying that in a crazy 34 minutes, zero to 100%, using a 100 watt wireless charger, which is ridiculous. But the craziest thing is that the Xiaomi with just 50 watt wireless charging did it in 41 minutes. It's probably due to the new advanced battery that they have in there. Nevertheless, the Honor is still the fastest wireless charging smartphone I've ever tested on my channel. And you've got to remember that seven minutes difference is actually a big difference when you're charging from zero to 100% in 30, 40 minutes. 45 minutes on the OnePlus 10 Pro to finish, which is actually pretty impressive. The Oppo lagging a tad behind you, but not too far behind, reaching 100% 
pretty soon, I guess you could say before an hour, and it does in 52 minutes, which is not half bad either. And the Samsung is sitting at 31% after the last time interval, which was the 45 minute mark, but the Samsung still has the lowest peak temperature over here, whereas the Honor has the highest. But honestly, the temperature difference is not really outweighing how long it actually takes to charge the Samsung as opposed to something like the Honor Magic 4 Pro over here. And after an hour, we hit 40% on the Samsung. Still the coolest phone, but honestly, not that much cooler than the other phones over here. And it does have the smallest battery as well, that 15 watt wireless charging speeds or even the 25 watt wide, that's now apparently 45 watts open close quotation marks, really needs to improve by Samsung. But if we take a look at the four phones on the left hand side, the Honor did its first 50% in just 15 minutes, first 80% in 25 minutes, 17 minutes for 50% on the Xiaomi, 30 minutes for the Xiaomi to reach 80% on the OnePlus, 50% in 19 minutes, 80% in 33 minutes, and the Oppo, 50% in 25 minutes, and 40 minutes to reach up to 80%. While the Samsung has not even hit 80%, it's on 78% after the two hour mark interval, and just hit 80% after two hours and three minutes. It hit its first 50% in an hour and 15 minutes. It took over an hour for the Samsung to hit its first 50% and did so at a reading of 30 milliamp hours per minute, which is just not very impressive. Nevertheless, it's about to cap off here, 96% after two hours and 30 minutes. How much longer is it gonna take? And it fully charges in two hours and 37 minutes, almost three hours of charging time on a wireless charging stand. I guess some of you are gonna just use your wireless charging stand next to your bed at night, but for those who actually wanna make use of super fast wireless charging, then Samsung is probably not the way to go. Fifth place over here, the Samsung Galaxy S22 Plus. I would say it did okay, but it did absolutely terrible. 4,500 milliamp hour battery, 15 watt wireless charging, two hours and 37 minutes. Fourth place, quite a bit faster than that, is the Oppo Find X5 Pro, 52 minutes, zero to 100%, much bigger battery, 5,000 milliamps and 50 watt wireless charging. Third place over here is the OnePlus 10 Pro, which is essentially the same device as the Oppo, same 5,000 milliamp hour battery, same 50 watt wireless charging, but did it in 45 minutes, which is seven minutes quicker. In second place, we have the Xiaomi 12 Pro, which did it in a mere 41 minutes, thanks to a slightly smaller 4,600 milliamp hour battery, but the same wireless charging speed as the Oppo and OnePlus at 50 watts. And in first place, we have the Honor Magic 4 Pro, the fastest wireless charging smartphone on the planet that I have ever tested. Did it from zero to 100% in just 34 minutes, thanks to that 4,600 milliamp hour battery and ridiculously quick 100 watt wireless charging. And looking at the milliamp hour per minute readings, we have the worst being the Samsung with 28.7 from zero to 100%. The best being the Honor, 135.3 milliamp hours per minute, zero to 100%. Now second to that is the Xiaomi with 112.2. And right behind that, like literally neck and neck is the OnePlus with 111.1 milliamp hours per minute. The reason why they're so close is because the OnePlus has a bigger battery than the Xiaomi. And of course the Oppo hit 96.2 milliamp hours per minute. Rounding off the test is temperatures. And while the Honor did get the hottest here, ending off with 47.6 degrees in Celsius and had a peak of 48.6 degrees in Celsius. The peak temps of the other three phones in the middle over here hit around 44, 45 degrees in Celsius, which is not that far off the honor. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video as much as I did making it. Let me know what you think of super fast wireless charging in the comment section down below. This is Technic and I'll catch you in the next one.